Hello, welcome to Advanced JavaScript Tutorial, Chapter 1, JavaScript, This Keyword and the Global Scope, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn about this keyword in JavaScript. So, this keyword it is one of the most widely used and it confusing keyword in JavaScript. And what does this keyword points to? This keyword it points to a particular object. So in the coming sessions we are going to learn more about this keyword. But as of now let's understand the four rules applies to this in order to know which object is referred by this keyword. The following four rules global scope, objects method, call or apply method and the bind method. As of now, in this session, we are going to understand the first and foremost rule that is global scope relation with this keyword. So, let me jump into the next slide. Here comes the global scope. Keep in mind, if a function which includes this keyword is called from the global scope, then this keyword present inside that function will point to the window object. So, to understand this sentence very clearly, we have to understand the code snippet present over here. Okay. Let me explain this code snippet. I'm having a variable myvar and the value is 200. This way of declaring a variable, okay, is called global scope, okay. And here I'm having a function demo, and within the function demo, I'm declaring another variable myvar and the value is 100. This way of declaring a variable inside the function is called local scope. If you're not aware what is global scope and what is local scope you can watch to my previous video where I've explained clearly like what do you mean by global scope and what is local scope so as of now let us understand the global scope relation with this keyword so I'm having a function demo I am declared a variable the value is 100 and after that I am calling two alert function okay in one of the alert function I'm just calling this my var variable and in alert in the other alert function I'm having this dot my var so after defining all these things, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to call this demo function. Keep in mind how I'm calling this demo function. I'm calling this demo function from the global scope. So if you're calling a function from the global scope and if that function includes this keyword and this keyword will point to the window object in the sense you have to understand these two alerts very cl clearly. Okay. In the first alert, I'm having a my var variable. Okay. This my var okay will hold the value of 100 why because this my var okay is defined inside this function okay and this my var is local to this function itself okay so this first alert will print the value as 100 and the second alert as i told you this dot my var this keyword present inside the function demo will point to a window object so when i tell this dot my var okay this alert will get the value 200 because it looks to the window object okay so it will access the value of this my var variable not this so we'll get the value as 200 this is what the meaning of global scope relation with this keyword suppose if a function which includes this keyword is called from the global scope okay and that this keyword present inside the function will point to a window object okay this is what happening here okay so to understand this very clearly i'm also having a diagrammatical representation you can observe this very clearly okay in this figure you can observe a function demo a function demo is called from the global scope okay the global scope means in the context of window object okay we can optionally call it like window.demo also okay so in the example you can observe very clearly this keyword okay inside the demo function will refer to the window object okay so this dot my var will refer to this my var variable so we'll get the output as 200 however if you try to access without this keyword okay it will point to this my var variable and we'll get the output as 100 okay and let me tell you what is window object window object it represents an open window in a browser I repeat window object it represents an open window in a browser and also it is the top level object in the client side JavaScript since it is the top level object in the client side JavaScript it can contain other objects like document and history okay we're going to learn all these things in the coming session like about window object but as of now you understand like what is window okay window object it represents an open window in a new browser and it is a topmost level object I hope you understood with this example okay I'm having a function demo and if I call that function it will execute this alert my var so this alert my var will refer 
to my var variable present inside this function which is local to this function itself so i'll get the output as 100 as soon as i come to next sentence alert this dot my var and keep in mind this function is called from the global scope so this keyword present inside the demo function will point to a window object so it will go uh, in search of the variable my var which is declared outside this function and it will print the value 200 this is what the global scope relation with this keyword i hope you understood this and let me show you a demo of this also so let me jump into visual studio code and here is my html page so what i'll do is first let me declare a variable my var and the value attached to it is 200 so let me define a function and the function name is demo and inside that let me declare my var variable again and the value attached to it is 100 right now okay after that I have to call two alert functions. In one of the alert function, I'll tell like it's my var. It's plus. So I'll access this my var. Then semicolon. Alert. This is this dot my var. Plus my var sorry this is not only the my var it points to this dot my var okay now when I do control s now what I'm doing I'm calling this function from the global scope since I'm calling this function from the global scope okay this demo function containing this keyword this keyword will point to a window object so what happens is this dot my var it points to the my var variable present outside the demo function so we'll get the value as 200 now when I do control s now I have to run this page so I have to navigate to the folder where I've saved the HTML page this is my page when I double click on that I'll get the output as 100 200 for the first sorry my my var 100 which is present locally inside that function and this dot my var, my var points to the window object so it, it looks or it uh, go in search of my var variable present outside this function okay so we'll get the output as 200 this is what global scope relation with this keyword now let me go back to presentation I have another example okay this points to global window object even if it is used in inner function in the sense if you have a nested functions and within that nested function if you have a this keyword then also this keyword will point to a window object if the function is called from the global scope let me show you that also it's very simple let me go back here and let me define a function and the function name is sample okay and what I'll do is I'll just cut and paste this entire code okay now what I'll do is I'll call that sample function that is the main function okay and now when I do control s okay you can observe very clearly here what's happening right now is I'm having a function sample within that I have inner function demo and inner function demo contains this keyword and since I'm calling the main function sample from the global scope okay and within the inner function within the sample I have an inner function demo and this demo is having this dot my var then also this points to a window object so it goes in search of my var variable present outside the function sample and it will take this value so when I do control s let me go back and let me refresh I'll get the output as my var 100 and this dot my var as 200 that's the meaning of this sentence like this points to a global window object even if it is used in an inner function or nested function that's the meaning of this sentence I hope you understood the global scope rule with this keyword okay and finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our YouTube channel Langpro Training you can also like our Facebook page visiting this URL you can also follow us on Twitter for further reference refer websites we're on LinkedIn too Last but not the least, please don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you. Have a great day.